During the 2019-2020 season, the Fumbuza concept was introduced within the LFSP program. The concept is being implemented across all LFSP clusters in Manicaland, Midlands, and Mashonaland. The Fumbuza concept was conceptualized and pioneered by foundations for farming in Zimbabwe. <laughs> The Pumbuza concept guarantees food security from a small manageable piece of land measured in 39 by 16 square meters, needing only 50 US dollars for a complete package of inputs. The package includes 12 kgs of lime, 16 kgs of basal fertilizer, 210 kgs of manure, 2 kgs of maize seed, 2 by 8 kgs of ammonium nitrate fertilizer, fertilizer cups, and an instruction pamphlet. The Povoza concept is climate smart, and the plot can be mulched using locally available resources, and best of all, in the event of a dry spell, supplementary watering can guarantee a bumper harvest. Land preparation is recommended to begin between May and July, starting with winter weeding. After harvesting, farmers must leave crop residue on the field, if at all possible. Mark out a straight line measuring 39 meters at one end of the field up and down the slope, and another one measuring 16 meters from the first one measuring 39 meters. Place small pegs or mark the soil along these lines at the desired spacing of 75 centimeters, giving a total of 52 pegs or marks per line, translating to 52 rows. Stretch strings across the field and slope from the peg at one end to the corresponding peg at the other end to mark out the planting row where you will dig planting stations. Along the planting rows, use a measuring stick or string wire or chain marked at the appropriate spacing of 60 cm, the marked station spaced at 60 cm apart will total 28. You can tie bottle caps or knots onto the string to mark the planting station spacing. Use a hard covered book at the four corners of the plot to ensure that the plot is a true rectangle with 90 degrees at each corner. Stretch the rope across the prevailing slope using the two pegs to anchor it. Keep it well clear of the ground so it remains straight in spite of trash and clothes brought up during the digging of the basins. Start at the first node at one end of the string facing uphill and dig each planting station about 15 cm long, 15 cm wide and 15 cm deep keeping the soil dug from the planting station on the downslope side of the station to use for cover later on. When the planting stations for that row have been made, use the sticks to measure 75 cm to the next row. Move the pegs and stretch out the string between them. Repeat the process of digging holes row after row until you get to the end of the marked points. Both organic and inorganic fertilizer can be applied soon after land preparation and before the rains, normally from September to November. It is recommended that soil samples be taken to inform lime and fertilizer application rates. Spread lime, cup number 5 at the bottom of the planting basin and place 1 times 350 milliliters tin of compost or manure in the planting basin. Spread basal fertilizer cup number eight in the planting basin. Place a layer of soil over the fertilizer before seeding. Use a hole to partly fill the planting stations with clawed free soil from the pile next to the planting station. Make sure you leave the surface lower than the ground so that water collects in the planting station. Planting should be done immediately after the first effective rains that fill the planting station and when the planting station is still moist. Effective rain is essentially defined as rain that fills the planting basin or a rainfall event of 20 mm for sandy soil and 30 mm for heavier soils.
place three maize seeds in an evenly spaced line in each planting station. One at each end and one in the middle of the planting station. Cover the wall with 5 cm of the remaining heap soil next to the planting station, leaving a level surface. Make sure no stones or heavy clothes cover the seeds, otherwise they will not be able to push through to the soil surface. After covering the seeds, the soil should be compacted lightly to ensure good contact between seed and soil so that the seed can absorb water quickly. Apply mulch over the planting station to minimize moisture loss and drying of soil and prevent capping. Try to finish planting a field in one day. Leave the mulch cover intact between the planting stations. Mulching is a fundamental principle of conservation agriculture and is probably the biggest difference from conventional practice. Keeping the soil covered as much as possible or mulching means the spreading of crop residue like stover, dry grass and leaves and other dead plant material on the field. Live mulch is also an option. Leave crop residue on the field after harvesting if at all possible. Cut down stalks flat and spread them out as evenly as possible. Allow livestock to graze, but grazing should be controlled so that at least 70% of surface cover remains. You can use additional dry organic material such as leaves to supplement or substitute for stover if necessary. They should also be placed on the field as early as possible in the season to buffer the soil against extreme temperatures, suppress weeds and improve soil fertility. If necessary, stover can be removed stored separately and relayed at the onset of the season. In case planting rains have not been received by the expected days for that particular area, two liters of water can be applied per station after planting the three seeds. Weed close thoroughly and on time. When mulching is done well, weeds can be effectively smoothed and you may only need to pull out the few old weeds that may grow through the mulch. Do winter weeding after harvesting between May and July. Winter weeding is done before planting station preparation. It may also be necessary to do pre-planting weeding immediately before planting. Do post-plant or first weeding about two weeks after planting. Complete weeding of the plot in one or two days. Weed before weeds flower. A second weeding may be necessary six weeks after planting, before top dressing. Do post top dress weeding so that the benefits of the fertilizer go to the crop and not the weeds. Whilst weeding, stand between the rows to avoid compacting the planting stations. Weeds should be pulled out carefully or cut at the surface and not dug out. Use the wall as a cutting knife rather than a digger so as not to disturb the soil. Where herbicides are used, Apply pre and post emergence herbicides as needed. Thin two to three weeks after emergence by removing the weakest seedling. Leave an average of two seedlings per planting station. If there are three plants at a station, thin to two. If there are two, no thinning is done. In the event of good germination, resist the temptation to leave three seedlings per planting station as this will result in a lower yield. Do not transplant or gap fill. Top dress immediately after thinning using cup number 5 of AN. Make a small depression from the plant on the upper side of the slope, place fertilizer and cover. Apply second top dressing of cup number 5 AN as the crop begins to tussle. For four armyworm and stock borer at least twice a week. Crush four armyworm eggs and larva. This is quite possible given the small area of the Fumbudza plot. Treat for main stock borer. Aba Fumbudza, you know, 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 Saga pam tete mwechete unema komba 28 unotibudisira pakiti. Kirechibaga. Takatarisa pamuri. 
in Evana, Mamuri, a family of six, to know how to pack up a week, one or that packaging. So, if Pumbuza, if Papa Batsila, Bezanzara, Mamuri, we are there, then now we are climate change.